Yo, what's up? Another Wednesday, another new title. Today I'm bringing you Cosmotir, where you build and command your own spaceship, kind of like space engineers, but in 2D. Anyways, let's dive right in. I have left the game on standard settings and I have chosen the Model S as a starting ship. Let's see how big of a galaxy we have to explore and survive in. Okay, it seems to be relatively small, but don't be fooled, there is a lot of stuff to do and a lot of chances to get wrecked. Just because I had the chance to play this game for a while, I have managed to check what are the best ways to start your journey. And in my case, it was basically to buy a blueprint and equip our ship in the mining laser so we could avoid sending our crew to mine manually. Also, I have slightly altered the design of our ship, so it could accommodate for our near future upgrades. Alright, let's go and see what we can do in this area. Okay, so we've got into the asteroid field, where there are multiple space rocks to be exploited for resources we can then sell and use to improve our craft. Since we have equipped our spacecraft in the mining laser, we can now see how it works. Thankfully, just because we have it with us, we don't need to send our squishy comrades to mine the rock. Okay, so under 3 times speed you will be able to see the aftermath of rock versus laser. There was quite a lot of minerals to be collected by us. Next in line was to head back towards the space station and holler at it so we could establish a connection and start the trading process. Since we are very limited with empty space that we could use to haul what we've mined, I will jump ahead slightly to the point where we could finally start earning 4 digit numbers. Which is exactly here. Well, 4 digit numbers if you count for very valuable resources or expensive components that we can obtain by defeating enemies and scrapping their ships for parts. Just like this unfortunate soul. Toothpick? What a fearsome name. Okay, now that we have two small laser cannons and a mining laser, we should in theory be able to win this fight. What I like about this game is that you can target specific parts of your enemy's ship, meaning if you get down to the reactor or the cockpit itself and destroy any or all existing instances of the same type, you will win the fight as their spacecraft will either have no power or be unable to be piloted. Now that the toothpick was nearing its critical condition, we were able to target the crucial elements of the ship and finish the job. This is also a neat part of this game. Once you defeated your foes, you can mop up the area from any residue from their ship and either sell it or fix and improve your own. Just like you could see it in here, we were left heavily wounded after the last fight and we just fixed it. After coming back to the station, I have added another instance of quarters as well as two more cargo containers so we could employ more crew and carry even more stuff. Then I carried on mining and mining and mining until we could afford some more advanced upgrades. This is cool, you can literally see as your ship is either filled in with parts or minerals or unloaded for trade. Nice touch devs. What comes next is a very unfortunate ship design, but I promise it was not intended and the end goal is absolutely different to what you are seeing. Seriously. Yet another fight, but this one is different and soon you shall see why. So anyway, I have started blasting at the enemy and it all seemed fine, but during the upgrade process, well, upgrade, I have forgot to add the fire extinguishers and that had catastrophic consequences. What's an interesting encounter I had when I was mining the sulfur away? There was that ship, single ship, that came around and kind of tried to hide away, when this guy, which was also friendly to us, came after him and started hovering over the asteroid like an angry wasp trying to sting. Nothing interesting came out of this encounter, so I have came back to finish our little ship design. Then I have accepted all bounty missions in existence and bought a blueprint for the medium reactor so we could start building something more fearsome. Less focused on mining, more focused on destruction. 
Now that we had access to the medium reactor blueprint, we could place it and start working on a medium ship itself. In order to get more resources to continue work on our new craft, I gave up on mining and went away to hunt for the space fugitives. It was going quite well as I have kept encountering small ships with not much firepower and no energy shields. It was going quite well. That's very well said because then this guy came around and has put me out of misery for good. Considering how my last adventure ended, I have stuck for now to bounty hunting and I came back for that fat check I could then blow on ship upgrades. It wasn't too much to enjoy, but 25k will be enough to equip our ship into the most important modules just like shield or more armor. I have supplemented this sum by selling some of the crap that we have gathered during our bounty hunting missions and that gave us additional 8k to spend. Noise. Okay, now I will leave you for a minute with the ship designer so you could have a look at what kind of things you could put onto your craft. See you in a sec. Since we had the majority of the ship built already, I had to run few last errands to get some more credits in order to finish our job. I have painted the hull to black color as white is a little bit too obvious in space. I've been playing too much Space Engineers lately. and moved our small ship a little bit closer so we could start transferring the crew onto our new ship. You know, it is not so easy to keep recruiting more people if you are an unknown space raider that tends to lose his ship twice in a matter of one hour. I took our model M to nearby question mark to see what it hides, as in what valuables we can find and sell. Turns out this was a spaceship graveyard, which is a very lucky find, but we have to deal with hostiles in order to dig in and see for ourselves what we can recover from here. After combat with three pirates back to back, I have navigated back to the space station so I could bring in our first ship with us. Reason being, it is much more spacious than our current craft and we will be able to recover much more space junk by doing so. Just look at that, the sheer amount of crap that we'll be able to sell or repurpose. It's priceless. Anyways, I have sold whatever was unwanted or not needed and expanded our medium ship by additional large cargo containers, two of them, so we could rely a little bit less on our little ship. Once we had the upgrade of sorts out of the way, we could head back into the action and I deemed it necessary to go right into one of the most dangerous areas in this sector. There were 8 hostile markers on the map. 3 were assigned to moving objects, meaning they were ships for sure, and 5 were designated to stationary objects, which meant probably 4 defense platforms and 1 hostile space station. I started by wiping up the area from ships that could chase us, since once we get them out of the way, dealing with immobile objects will be much easier. 
Next in the queue were platforms, and there was actually four of them in total. They were quite easy to deal with, as the cockpit was located at the outer parts of the craft, making it way easier to deal with the entire platform. So, I have repeated the same tactic for every single one of the targets, and I have decided that I will leave the space station for now, as it poses too much of a risk to be dealt with. The best thing is that I have decided that saving the game progress is completely unnecessary at this point, as we have big ship with big guns and then this guy came around once again. This is a moment when you can imagine the panic that has ensued. I was searching for anything that could help me redirect the crew into the right locations so we could keep firing at the enemy. I will spare you the details. After reloading the progress from like half an hour ago, I have decided to just stick to bounty hunting for now. And that making money this way will be more beneficial as we will also gain fame that will allow us to recruit more people to fully unlock the potential of our ship. See, the reason I have failed previously is that we had only 12 people on board and that was not enough to man two shields, four double laser turrets, reactor, control station, and all engaged thrusters. When bounty hunting has finally reached the end, at least to some degree, I came back to the station and grabbed a 27k check for the job that we have just done. It was quite a big chunk of money to be handed over few wrecked pirates, I'm gonna admit. I have recruited as many people as my fame level would allow me to, and I have decided to go and pay back to the guy that has wiped the floor with me twice by now. It was looking all good, we finally had enough people to man all required stations to fight with tougher enemies, and I was quite impressed how much of a difference can few more people in the crew make in the grand scale of things. So, I have managed to deliver the vengeance where it was supposed to be delivered, and I thought, third time lucky. When literally, few moments later, this thing shows up on my radar and I had to fight yet another sturdier ship. And guess what? Piss. 